everybody, get on the bus. Get on the bus. Oh, I for your children. Hey. Alert. Welcome to episode 167 of Things for Watching. Yeah, it's Monday, August 23rd. Uh, so Show is. Yep, so we'll uh, we'll have this out for you tomorrow, today. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I'm DJ. I'm Beth. <laughs> and I'm Joe. <laughs> Beth was sleeping. <laughs> I guess so. I said it. Oh, you will listen to oh, my recording okay. later, and you'll hear that didn't I said come it. Come through on the. Oh uh, uh, yeah, board the the Discord was doing a disco, not letting you go. I through. absolutely said it. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yay! Well, I can edit that and make it sound right anyway, so nobody will. Yeah, nobody will know the difference. Um, how's everybody's nope. week or weekend? Beth, how was your weekend? Been, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Reader's Digest. Uh, my county's on yeah. fire. I can smell it. Uh, like something like thirty thousand people are out of their homes wow. right yeah. now. Five hundred something houses destroyed. I broke my finger. <laughs> my brother's evacuated, and two people quit. So, hey, how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Go ahead, DJ. How was your weekend? Yeah, it's wow. it's been well, a busy one. Well, um, <laughs> I guess I could go Reader's Digest version too. Um, I have family that's uh, been evacuated as well. Um, mm -hmm. We've got like a lot of teachers that have decided they are not renewing their license, <laughs> so they're oh. like, "I'm done. See ya." And so a lot of coverage mm -hmm. going on there. Um, and then, um, that's it. I had a better week last week than before. And then, of course, today was a great day. So, I think it's just every day gets better. That's good. Yeah. So that's, that's good, man. I think you just get more used to what's going probably. on. Yeah, that's probably it. Because there's a lot going on. So, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm still filling in my teacher hat. You know, figuring out what to do. Like, I... I don't have like the main content area stuff going on. I just have the hey, let's let me tell let me help you get that stuff out out, you know, let you help you write. Let me help you read, you know, that type of stuff. So Yeah, important yeah, stuff. Yeah, super important stuff. So it's you know, that's that's about it. Uh yeah, I think that's that's it. Like nothing major to write home about. My mom oh yeah, my mom, like she broke her arm. And uh, mm -hmm. I guess it's in the air. I'm, knock on wood. I don't want to do that. Um, <laughs> so breaking bones is uh, is there. So um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Like this weekend was just more weekend of work. Like I I'm like I get paid for 35 hours, but I'd probably put in 40 plus. I yeah. feel that. So, so you're not getting paid for 40 plus. No, I'm getting paid for 35. Hmm. But there's absolutely Because all the rest of that 40 plus was it was at home or just needed to it get done. It just needs to get done and there's no one else yeah. to do it. Like it's not. I I so feel yeah. that. That is such a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's uh it's crazy. It's one of those really crazy things like I I can't believe I can't believe teachers have gone through this forever. Yeah. Like, I, I, kn I know that's a new thing for you. I've been hearing about it for you. Yeah. And, and I think that, <laughs> I think that our, our Congress people, the people that went through school and had teachers. I know, but look at how they turned out. Right. Are not doing them justice <laughs> at all. Zero justice. <laughs> and I'm not even saying that for myself. Like, <clears throat> I know. I don't. I mean, I care for those teachers that have been doing it for years and and years, and they shouldn't be. Yeah. That's crazy. Years Absolutely and crazy. beers. Both my aunt and uncle. Yep. Both my aunt and uncle are teachers, and their daughter is a substitute teacher. Yeah. And one of my best friends is a teacher, and then also DJ is a teacher. <laughs> I know all of these teachers, and I've 
I've heard the, the woes. The teacher blues. Teacher girl. blues. For many a year. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my cousin's a teacher oh, now. I... That's new. Congratulations, yeah, Angela. I have a cousin who's going to be a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. She's finishing up her. Tell her not to do it. And stuff. No, she's <laughs> already got it in her head. I'm not going to stop her. Teachers like we need, and the we help. do need the help. Honestly, like we need more teachers, like crazy. And you know, there's people that look at us as teachers and go, "Why are you doing that?" <laughs> Nobody else is going to do it. Well, you know, it's the same thing. I, You know, I respect people in the military. I respect nuns. And I respect teachers. Because those are all jobs that I can't ah. do. <laughs> you could teach. You could absolutely do it. Mm, I don't know. Well, but, well, anyhow. How about you, Joe? Um, Pretty, pretty mellow weekend. Um, Saturday... Had a D and D session. Yay! Uh, yeah, that was that was good. How'd you roll? Um, it's the same character that I've been playing this little campaign we're running. Um, mm-hmm. it's my uh, my cleric. Nice. Uh, we had a big showdown battle. It was fun. Uh, Crackhead Blue got to sit in on a D and D session because we hosted, so she got to kind of hear. The storytelling and the some yeah all, all the fun, fun stuff. stuff that goes along and she just kept calling me a nerd the whole time. No, I was no. gonna say she just did in the chat. I was like, damn, called out by your and own then, lady. Uh, Sunday, Owl yeah, so uh, we just kind of chilled. You know, it was a nice stay-at-home weekend. Yeah. Good, cool. Why'd you cast magic missile? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, clerics don't cast magic missile, DJ. So. Oh, got it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I was attacking the darkness. Sorry, there's a, 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 <laughs> a, a Dungeons and Dragons skit on the Dr. Demento show that I think of. Is really... that the Dead Ale Fish That's wise? it. The Dead Ale Fish Wise there. That's good. Good stuff. I'll have to, uh, well, you have access to the thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Well, I like the very non, I mean, the kind of, the, like, the chill weekends, which are really nice. We need more of those. Yes. No breaking things, you know, all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. So this we this week, we're going to talk about John Rats and Burger Films. Yes. Um, and then uh, a whole bunch of everything else, right? Um, entertainment news. I got a, I got a few texts and stuff. Uh, I got some from James. So thank you so much for sending these in. Um, and I think we talked a little bit about this one before, but, uh, Jonathan Mackey will be in Captain America four. Mm, dead ale wives. Sorry. <laughs> dead ale wives. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I was, I knew I had it wrong, but that's okay. That's okay. So there we go. <laughs> um, all right. What else? Amazon is planning a a new TV series uh, based on the Lord of the Rings. I think you meant Anth- Anthony Mackie, not Jonathan Mackey. Oh, why did I do Jonathan? Yeah, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was thinking about the Daniel. <laughs> it's okay. Where I would have corrected. And you that. know, in the article it says Anthony. I don't know why I put Jonathan. Like there must have been something going on in my brain where Jonathan was the thing. <laughs> Uh, anyway, is there such... Or maybe your computer changed it. That happens. I guess. I mean, it's very possible. <laughs> when in doubt, blame, blame. Uh, autocorrect. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, also, um, California released this uh, this thing where, like, these movies, that they, they're, like, under budget. They're, they're kind of like uh, independent films. But they're, mm-hmm. like they're going to provide a lot of money to, to California. And so they have this list that they publish about um, companies that are, that are going to get tax credits. Yeah. And so they released it and there were a couple films on there that I wanted to mention because they're going to be filmed this year in California and they're getting a tax break. And I thought, you know, we gotta we gotta share. So um, one of them is an Amazon film called Beverly Hills Cop Four. 
Oh <laughs> I know, I know. So that's that's another one. Uh Scarface is going to be filmed. Um Scarface. now I don't know much about it other than the title. So it could be just a dude with a scar. It could on his be, face. and maybe nothing at all related. But here's a maybe <laughs> it's a single. maybe. So, but here's another one that I was like, really? Scarface meets Beetle. No, that would be funny. Um, no, this one is white men can't jump. What? Ah, uh, 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 yes, filming this year, white men can't jump. What? In California, I know. I don't understand the title. Maybe it's just a working title, and they're gonna call it something else. Maybe it's part two. I don't know. Probably. Is it a reboot? I mean, it could be. Yeah. It could be a reboot. Um. <laughs> yeah. My... So just those those three films really popped off the list that I was like, "What the heck?" Uh. So, and then there's mm. some other one horror films and stuff that look like uh, I don't even know. That DJ will not yeah. watch. Yeah, I might talk about them later, yeah. but probably not watch them at all. So, but would you believe that on my list of John? Wait, uh, yeah, John Ratzenberger films. There, there is go. a horror film on my list. What? I know. I, know. I mean, actually, a horror movie. Or? I mean, it stems from a horror movie. It, it, scary at parts and we'll talk about it when we get to that right is it a disney it's not a disney movie it's definitely not a disney movie so but we will okay. we'll talk to we'll talk about when we get to the list part okay so does it involve <laughs> I, actually i think there might be a horse there is like the man from Snow no Wolf. it is not it is not <laughs> he's also not in no, that. Yeah, right. That's, so, but that's it. Any other news? Does anybody else have any news that they want to share? Uh, I do not. <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. All right. All right. Cool. Well, if you have any news that you would like to share with us, um, much like James did, listener James, thank you so much, um, let us know. 512 Podcast. That's our... Uh, our phone number, you can text that in, you can call it in, leave a voice message. Um, yeah, um, and if you need the numbers involved with that, it's 512-763-2278. We have a website, it's tfwmovies.com. We have an email address, shout out at tfwmovies.com. It's S-H-O-U-T-O-U-T. -O -U -T. Yeah. Um, and then um, at TFW Movies, you'll find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all those fancy ones. Um, but another really fancy one is Patreon. That's right. Uh, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash TFW Movies. That's a great way to look us up and also a great way to support the show. There's so many ways to support the show. One, like, just... Uh, sub send us a text. Send us a text. Uh, Voicemail. Subscribe on whatever podcast listening thing you listen to, or mm -hmm. send us money. Right? <laughs> so, uh, what was that? A, a hiccup? Yeah. What? what? Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Um, so okay. So, but don't <laughs> don't just send us money for sending us money because we want to give uh, you stuff too. See, <laughs> so you get to be on our show live while we're doing this. You get to hear the stuff before the edits, which is really nice. In fact, James has said he's like, listen to us live, and then he listens to us later to see where we've edited it. It's like when you watch a movie in the theater and then you see it on network television and you watch to see what the swearing yes. is covered by. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and so... Uh, so you get stuff like that. You also get to uh, be on our Marco Polo group. So, Woo! yeah, that's a lot of fun. Exactly. And then um, when Beth uh, has a um, a playlist for us, um, we'll put that up on our, our Patreon. So you get to listen to a pay, uh, uh, a movie soundtrack I'm, kind I'm of a... I'm hoping to have a new one next Excellent. Week. Excellent. I was hoping to have a new one this week, but... 
Well, everything right, happened. Right, right. So. So, kind of fell by the wayside. The week got away from me. I'm sorry. That's okay. You were that's a bit okay, broken. Ben. Yeah, exactly. Um. All right. So this week, and I, this this introduction is super short, super duper short. Um, this person born 1947, and he is deemed. Was Pixar considers this man their lucky charm. That's it. Mm, That's yeah. all you need to know. It's John Ratzenberger. Um, they made it so that he has to be in every single one of their their Pixar films. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but I know it happened. Like whenever we're at a Pixar thing at the D twenty three expos and stuff, they're always like. John Ratzenberger, he's like the man that keeps us going, and it's it's pretty cool. So <laughs> I'm good with it. So we will start off our list with Crackhead Blue, like we always do. Um, and I got this this submission a little late. As a matter of fact, when I said Crackhead Blue doesn't have a list, and it was sent over uh, through, well, like you know, the telephone game went over with uh, with Joe. And she just happened to have been typing and sending at the same time. It was actually and pretty And she cool. also said, tell him to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty cool. <laughs> pretty darn cool. So she said, Pixar, 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 all of them. Yeah. Which. All them Pixars. That's what my list looked like, too. Yeah. yeah I, and when I was going through the list, I was like, ooh, that one was good. Ooh, that one was good. And I started listing a lot of Pixar ones, and I was like, wait, DJ, come on. You need to calm yourself down a little bit. <laughs> so. And I was writing them down, and I'm just like, this, this is, these aren't really John Ratzenberger films, because he's in them for, like, right. well. Yeah. <laughs> lines. Right, lines, exactly. So. Yeah, it is what oh, it is, really? though, right? Right, exactly, exactly. They're films that we love Good that he's in. That's, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna look that up, Blue. So, um, uh oh, uh oh, I need my phone. Um, no, nope, yeah, fine. my Instagram. Um, I had one, and then I didn't finish writing it down. So I have like, I have the person who said it. Um, but then, then I don't have um, what is it? Uh, what they actually said, which is absolutely crazy. Okay. Oh, I wrote it down. I don't know why it changed. Okay. Instagram, Patty, okay, at Patty Morello says, um, Monsters, Inc. Yep. So I don't know why that changed back. It says I am Patrick, but that was from another thing from way before. So that stumped me. Dun, dun, dun. So, all right. So Stump, now. Stumping yourself, huh? I guess so. I don't know. I think I think it's this whole um, I don't know what to call it. Um, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, this whole Google Doc is driving me crazy. Maybe that's what it is. All right, it's time now for um, James's Juice yeah. Bar, right? Like he's gonna let us know a little bit about uh, our friend um, John John uh, Ratzenberger. Oh, <laughs> Help me. Here it is. The talented actor, John Ratzenberg. Uh, so my first introduction into to him came from the TV series Cheers, uh, where he played the role as Cliff. And one of the things I, I distinctly remember about his character, Cliff, is during the time, he also played the, the character Cliff as cameos in a lot of other uh, shows during that time. Um, he's also 100% uh, the voice of Ham, in Toy Stories, um, can't really see any other voice than his uh, in that. Um, he's also in uh, Super Buddies, uh, a uh, kids movie that because of my toddler I've seen way too many times. But he plays a uh, lovable grandpa uh, in that in that movie. Um, and uh, yeah, he's done a ton of uh, voice acting roles, a dozen or so. I can't think of them all offhand. Uh, but I do know there's a lot of uh, animes where you can distinctly hear his voice in those roles. Um, and uh, during, uh, during uh, 
my uh, notes and stuff, I came across that he's also uh, played a couple bit roles in the Christopher Reeves Superman 1 and 2. Um, and by bit roles, I believe it's just like a, a side backdrop kind of character thing. But I, I love the Christopher Reeves uh, rendering of Superman, so I'm, I'll hype it up any opportunity I get. Um, other than that, uh, as always, thank you to Joe, Beth, and DJ for the podcast. I hope you guys have an amazing night and a wonderful show. James, bonus points for the cat cameo. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> As soon as he started, the cat's like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's all, ooh, <laughs> guess what? You look like you're doing something that I shouldn't be a part right. of. <laughs> guess what? Cat butt! <laughs> exactly. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's the way. Cats have, like, sonar for that stuff. Oh, yeah. They know. They know when that's happening. So, yay! <laughs> well yes, done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sending that in. I much appreciate it. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, um, all right. Well, it's time for our KS list. Oh, back. I'm sorry, back with the with the what James was saying. Also, like um, the, the anime. That's kind of cool. I didn't realize he would do that. That's kind of that's kind of nifty. Well, I mean, voiceover is voiceover. That's right? true. Voiceover is a voiceover. So, um, whatever keeps the lights on at your house, right? <laughs> that yes. Makes sense. Um, all right. Okay. So get back to the cast list. I want to go first. Okay, you can okay, go right, first. Uh, okay, I super duper love Cheers. Honestly, <clears throat> like I watched every episode. That's and I know it's I know it's TV. I know it's not a movie, but you could totally binge watch it now, and it's so good. Um. Yeah, it's yeah. a good one. Uh, but then let's move on to It's a Bug's Life. That's Bug's Life is hilarious. Love that film. Super Coco, funny. I know he's just a, a little voice in her, but yes, that was Coco. I love Coco. Inside Out. Uh, Toy Story. Um, I mean, big role in to Toy Story, so we could count that. Monsters, Inc. Um, and uh, That's where I had to stop and go, oh, there's so many. I like them all. So, um, okay, the horror movie that I picked, yeah, House Two, the second story. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, all right. So it's kind I'll, of, I'll, I'll give it to you, will you? Okay, good. I okay. mean, it's not really a horror movie. It's kind of a campy. <laughs> it's very. There it is, yeah, right yeah. there. Well, probably why I like it, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's definitely yeah, a DJ it's... horror movie. That see, yeah, absolutely, my style right there. <laughs> Oh, and that's my list. That's the end of my list. <laughs> that's a good Thank list. You. Thank that's, you. That's a that's a good one. Um, I kept mine fairly short as well because it was just gonna be every Pixar movie that he's in, even though he says like five words. Right. So uh, I'm gonna go with Finding Nemo. Oh yes. Because his uh, performance as the many mm -hmm. fish. Yeah. Crack yep. me up. A uh, Toy Story because <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Blue put Adam Driver as the the oil baron in the chat, and it just caught me off guard, just like it does every time. Um, <laughs> Toy Story because that was a bigger role, and Monsters Inc. because I never am, I can never be unhappy when I see the the Yeti. Snowman. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. What about the adorable snowman? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, they're lemon. Like yes. that's that's good stuff right that's there. That's great. So stuff. also also cheers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But the Toy Story uh, counts as all of the Toy Stories except for Toy Story three because it made me cry too much. Yeah, that's yeah. And if I think about it too much, I will cry just right, like Toy Story two. So. There we go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So they uh, it's they your should turn, end Joe. it right there. Actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you imagine? No. <laughs> Wait yeah, for part four. <laughs> Terrible. Then, like, guess soul. what, kids? Life's life's a bitch. <laughs> All right, here we yeah. go. And yeah. then you die, and then you're incinerated <laughs> in a giant. No, no. Poor bullseye. Didn't even know it was happening. This is terrible. Go, Joe. Uh, I just went with Toy Story, Monsters Inc., and I love Mac and Cars. So. Oh yeah. yeah, I like the Yeti. That's I like Mac, right. and I mean, Ham is pretty iconic. So, yeah, yes, the Yeti. 
What I so good. Like just yeah, just his Pixar catalog alone is like all right. Well, is yeah, it's like there it is. <laughs> That's yeah. about it. Uh, no uh, honorable mentions yeah. or anything. I mean, everybody knows he's in Cheers, but, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you for that. Uh, those are all the films that we really like with John Ratzenberger, and uh, maybe we, we think that you might like them, too. So if you get a chance and you have Disney+, Plus, you could probably stream most of them. Although I don't think House 2 is on Disney+, Plus or Cheers. <laughs> I'm not sure... So, anyhow, um, all right, stuff we're putting in our eyes. We're going to start with our alphabet movie, Soup. Um, mm -hmm. You, this week, was the usual suspects. Straight up. Yeah. Was. How did you get, how did you find that one? How did you even, I mean, that's what a great mean? one. You type in you, and you look at movie <laughs> lists. Hey, ah, ah, ah. that's what you do. That's how you did it. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Good. I had like a couple I was sending and saying, hey, what do you think of this one? What do you think of that one? But I didn't even see that one on my list. So that's good. That's good. So what do we think? I know you were sending a number of them. He was just like, would you like this one? Yeah, how about this one? Would how you like this one? one? I'm like, I'm like hey, no. dude, it's my pick. I mean, if you want to go to pick it all 26, we can do that. You know, it'd, make <laughs> it easier for, it'd make it easier for everybody else. I know, it. right? No, no. I like our eclectic uh, group of movies. So just for that, just wait for till that. you see my next one that I'm going to give you. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, you, know what, no. you know what happens when you rush me. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait. <laughs> let's see what letter Joe has next and see if I can guess. <laughs> Let's see. So I have B and then a Y. A Y. It's Y? Okay. Mm. The yeah. Yeti. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. It's going to be like the Yeti of Diatlov Pass <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Which, DJ, if you want to have nightmares forever, read that story. Uh, I don't want Ooh, nightmares yeah. forever. Yeah. I really that's a don't. Pretty, <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good story. It's a gnarly it's like, one. What the hell happened? <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> no, thank so, you. Uh, yes. And I've been listening. I've been <laughs> listening to a new podcast. I'll talk about when we get to that stuff. That you'll <sighs> oh, okay. You definitely, it's definitely nightmare fuel for you. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Um. Okay then. <laughs> so the usual suspects. This was a, a fun film. I'm like, I remember seeing it before, and and getting to watch it again. It's just like, this is. I mean, it was really good. Like there was. It's a great yeah, movie. Yeah, well done. Like, it was... <sighs> like, people rave about it for yeah. a reason. Yeah, I love the narrator part of it, even though they're just telling you, like, all the stuff that's happening based because it's like you're in the police station. It's not really they're, like, breaking the fourth wall, but it's still really cool. I really like that part. So Yeah, it's good. It's good yeah. Um, the Just the like how things could have gone and how things do go and i don't know I, the clue aspect yes, of it i love the the this could have happened or this could have happened but here's what really happened. right right so uh, i mean i guess uh, like clue honestly like and that's you know another really great one right so that's multiple right. ways it could end but then there's then after thinking about it, yeah, there's only one way this could end. So, and after watching it the first time and then knowing what is going to happen, I'm just like trying to watch these characters and watch the actors like mess up their, their, their body language. But they don't. They don't. It's, no. I mean, granted, it was, you know, they it can't yeah, change. What do you mean mess up their body? <laughs> I'm not sure I follow that. What you're saying there. He's saying he's trying to watch and see if anything got given oh, away. Yeah, time. yeah. But it didn't. No, it didn't. it didn't. Not until the not until the big reveal. Yeah. yeah, which was really good. So it's if you've never seen it before, I'm not gonna spoil it, even though it is like twenty years right. old. Um but it's it's done so well. Right. Right. <laughs> that the first time I watched it. I uh, my jaw hit the floor, and that doesn't usually happen for me. Normally, I'm just like, oh, I know what's going on, yeah, like ahead of time. But and normally, mom too, and mom didn't didn't quite have it figured out. She was close, but uh, yeah. So yeah, 
no, it's it's a great movie. And if you haven't seen it yet, go put that in your eyes because that right there is a movie that people call a modern classic. Yeah. Modern classic. Modern classic. And it's on uh, Amazon Prime. Correct. Yeah. It is on the it Prime. It is on the Prime. Yeah. Um, it's on the Prime. Yeah. It's on the Prime. So I'm, I'm giving that one a nine. Like, it was, it's way up there for me. I, I will absolutely give it a nine. And I love uh, Kevin Pollack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it an eight only okay. because like you know me yes. nines are nines yeah. are reserved and tens are even more rare so right <laughs> yeah. tens are non tens don't really exist on my one to ten scale but they there is a couple <laughs> there's got to be at least yeah. one in there um so really it's a one to nine scale <laughs> right Ten, this one goes to ten, 11. Tens break the scale, yeah. <laughs> DJ's list goes to, or DJ's uh, scale goes to 11. <laughs> Joe's goes to 9, and mine actually goes to 10. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Um, yeah, it's a fun watch. I, I, it had been a while since I'd seen it, and I'm like, yeah. initially I'm like, well, I could probably talk about it without, without, without watching, watching it again. I'm like, nah, I need to watch it again. And I'm glad I did. Um. Yeah, I did have one. I mean, I think we can talk about it freely. It's like you said, it's twenty years old. Again, it's we years are old. a movie show. <laughs> yeah, we need yeah. to talk about movies That's regardless. True. So if well, then let's do it. If you haven't seen Usual Suspects, spoilers ahead. Twenty-year-old spoilers. Yeah. Um, I did complain <laughs> a little bit after watching it again. I'm like, man, I don't. I think the reveal at the end should have taken a little bit longer to piece together. Really, a little yes. bit. Yeah, because. He okay. was fooling him so hard the whole time. So hard. And then hard all of a sudden, just looking at a couple words on the back wall, he puts it all together real quick. Like, it should have taken a little bit longer. And I feel like it should have smacked him in the face when Esposito runs in with the picture. Like, boom. And then, oh, shoot. There it is. You know what I mean? I yeah, I agree. I think that that's true. Because that's... he even leans I'm in go on ahead him. And disagree he on that. leans in on him, and I'm like, I'm smarter than you. And it's like, no, actually, this guy's really fooling you. Like, to your yeah. face. Really, really smart. To your face. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and disagree yeah. just because they're trying to show you how good this cop is okay, and how confused he is in the situation. So if he is a good cop and if he does have his reticular activating system, like working in his brain, this is brain talk, um, then he will actually see these things that quickly. So I feel like, I feel like it was okay. part of his character. Fair. That he picked up on it so quickly. Um, and then, but not, not quickly, quickly enough. enough right? Exactly, Blue. He was so focused on his target that he didn't look around Freaking. the room at all. Yeah. And, and then can. the um, uh, Crackhead Blue tells me a funny story about the lineup scene. Was a lot of the laughing wasn't supposed to happen, and the director was very upset that it. Oh. Happened. Uh-huh. Uh all the laughing at each other where, you know, they kept reciting the line and there's that scene where it's the camera's focused on Benicio and it's, he's taken a while to get to his line. Um, apparently that wasn't how that was supposed to go. So he was pretty pissed, but they kept uh, it. Yeah. They kept it in, uh, yeah. crack it blue. Didn't really follow up on that. Why they kept it in, but I guess I haven't seen the documentary stuff so, or the, the commentary stuff. So, but, I mean, to me, like the that guy, he was a genius. Like picking stuff off of the wall and just making a story out of it, just like that. Oh yeah, yeah. He's improv super smart. is a is a fun thing. I mean, how fun is it to just do that, right? <laughs> that right there. I mean, yeah. You know, I agree completely. You're, you're getting off scot free, so you could just tell them anything; they would believe it all. But he had to make it so believable. Yeah. He had to make it all make sense. He had to tie in all the pieces. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, it's a nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Me too. And just because I disagree with you doesn't mean you're oh, not... Oh, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not I'm it. not taking that any sort of way. I mean, I, okay. I, I, mean I, I think it's a great idea. Like, it could have taken him a little bit longer and then, bam, right in the face. And Because um, I, I felt like that... Um, the, the the character that was walking away, I felt like 
for starters, it was just by the way that it was filmed. Like the, the blocking seemed a little weird because like he goes out around the corner, goes back behind this building, and all of a sudden you're in front of the police station again. It didn't make sense to me. So that's so okay. if it had taken a little bit longer, that wouldn't have been. That, I mean, it wouldn't oh, have see, been. I, that I quick saw that as the a, detective ran to the side of the building because of the direction that. Kevin Spacey walked had left yeah. he walked out the front and then rounded the corner and then when we see him it's from the perspective of where he got picked up and now that car has gone around the other corner so I made it I, I in my brain the detective was at the side of the building at that point not at the front oh, okay looked so. like the front to me but then again I mean it could have been the side and that's how it worked out I mean like why did you walk all the way around there just you know because he had to sh- he had to shamble off. He couldn't just get into a car and then that's be true. Obvious. Right. He couldn't just like hop a skip. See you guys. Yeah. Later. Yeah. That's true. Hey, guess what? I'm actually the guy you've been looking for. I'm actually for. Kaiser ha. Soze. Bye. <laughs> right. So yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, good good stuff. Good stuff. It's yeah. a good movie. So, um, all right, Beth, what did you watch this week? I didn't watch half as many things as I had hoped to this week. Because you only have <laughs> half of your remote finger. It's just... Well, uh, sorry. How is this uh, not my remote uh, finger? Womp, womp, womp. Sorry. Work. sorry. What a... No, it's just a, what with, like, evacuations and working extra and trying to get everything all ironed out. I just haven't really been paying a huge amount of attention. But I did actually watch a show last night that made me laugh really oh. hard. Oh, it's on Netflix and it's called Nerdflirt. Sexy Beasts. Mm, Netflix. Huh. <laughs> and it's people who have agreed to go on a dating show, but in order to make sure that their feelings are actual chemistry, they are completely done up in like huge <laughs> prosthetic makeup. Oh. And you can't tell what they actually look like. So they're all dressed up as animals. Like one guy <laughs> is a fuck? beaver. <laughs> And one chick is a deer, and one guy is a chicken with like, <laughs> like, dangly bits on his chin, and it's the funniest thing. Just I can't take these people seriously trying to like seriously speed date with like beaks and beaver teeth. And one chick is a porpoise and has like a blowhole. It's just like, <laughs> what am I watching? Sounds so sounds there aren't amazing. very what many you, episodes, but it's. About. So great. So if you have some time to, you know, throw at a Netflix dating show, Sexy Beasts is the best one you've got. <laughs> Sexy <Wow>. Beasts. <laughs> okay. Super funny. Excellent. I did watch some more uh, 30 Rock and also um, something else. There was something else that I was watching when I was trying to sleep. Can't remember. Doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Got it. How about you? Hey, Joe, what have you been <laughs> watching? Uh, let's see. I watched... So, Crackhead Blue has been feeling the uh, the Halloween bug already. Cool. Ah, uh, yes. So, we had a few horror movies running this weekend. Um, 30 Days of Night, which... Nice. Have you seen that, DJ? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've seen that. Okay, well, that would be a good one for you to have some nightmares with. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so mean. I'm not looking for our numbers. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> that one's pretty brutal. Um, wow. Let's see. We watched that, or she put that on. I caught it, like, probably a third of the way into it and got to watch all the best parts, specifically ah. when the vampires just rip everyone to shreds. Oh. Um, nice. Vampires. We watched some Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Ah, that lady. great movie, so funny. That movie's so funny, man. There's so many like throwaway lines in there, but it's they're funny. They're real funny. Yeah, she's yeah. They mm-hmm. a lot of co- good comedic timing. Um, we caught up on What If, the Marvel What Ifs. 
Um, I don't know if you've been paying attention to those. Oh, yeah. I keep wanting I to. I just got, haven't gotten there There's two episodes out currently. They release on Wednesdays, which is a little weird than our usual Friday release stuff. Uh, I like them a lot. They're corny. They're very Saturday cartoon, Saturday morning cartoon vibe with the corniness and cheesiness, but I like them. I dig it. It's like, yeah. it's like reading one-offs. If you're a comic book reader, it's like, okay, this writer and this artist got together to do this silly alternate story and they yeah. even they even drop multiverse in the in the voiceover stuff a bit so cool i loved what ifs the comics i would get them all the time i love and those. i got to watch a little bit of wrestling again that i haven't watched some oh, wrestling in a while so cool. that was neat and That's i got to fun. see the return of a favorite wrestler who's been gone for seven years it was great oh it was great fun watch uh, i'm trying to think of anything else crackhead blue can you refresh my did we watch anything else that stands out. Oh, wait. Oh, an adaptation. That's right. Oh, it was freaking out there. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it was yeah. so funny though. Like, but that movie is crazy zany. It's a wacky yeah, movie. Yeah, especially the end. Like when everything just goes nuts. It's like, what is happening like, right now? What is <laughs> yeah. happening? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. That's a good movie. I. Oh yeah, so Crackhead Blue's kind of on this like Nick Cage kick. So we're she's <laughs> ever since ever Pig, since you Pig, guys yeah, Pig, she's finding some <laughs> all the Nick Cage stuff to watch. Um, yeah, adaptation was crazy. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm kind of contemplating a uh, a Walking Dead rewatch start over. Because by the time I get through them all, then the last Everything the will last be season will be on. So <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to be like, well, I could start now and watch a couple a week and not really like freak out about how fast I'm consuming it because there's lots to consume. But I saw a splash screen of young Rick and I was like, oh, man, I miss when the show was all kind of innocent and like. Like, sweet yeah, and baby yeah, walking yeah. Dead. And then it just, you know, back when before Rick had a beard. Yeah. And like stuff and when things. it was still like, ooh, how close <laughs> to the comic are they gonna go? Oh, they they did yeah. that a little different, and then it just kind of went off the freaking rails. But back even before the Where's Carl yeah. days, Where's Carl? He's in the house. No, he's not. <laughs> did you ever see that meme? It was my favorite. Rick is talking to Lori. He's like, Where's Carl? <laughs> and she says, In the house, and he's standing right next to her. <laughs> Super accurate. Because that was the story of season two. Was just like, where's Carl? Where oh, he's in the house. Carl? He's never. Yeah, he's in never the house. where we tell him to be. He's causing some sort of ruckus, throwing rocks at zombies, and getting shot. Yep. Damn kid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think. No, I, I saw, think that's everything I watched. I saw a, uh, because I was on Netflix, obviously, and there was the the screen for Walking Dead. It said new episodes, and I'm like. Oh. Yeah, there's like, a lot oh, no. of new Maybe episodes. I should start that up. Oh no! Yeah, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. wait Probably a best. Bit. There you go. Just for yeah, a yeah. while. I kind so I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking about a rewatch, but I'm not like jumping at the chomp chomping. Sorry, chomping, chomping at the bit. or champing. I've heard it both ways, and I've heard that champing is correct. I feel like we've had that conversation on we this did. podcast. We did. We have. So I'm not that eager to start it. <laughs> See it. I feel like I'm right, but I'm going to change what exactly. I'm saying. <laughs> it's like when you're spelling something and it doesn't. And you're look like, yeah, right. I'm just going to change that you word. You think it's right, but you're not sure, and then you're like, oh yeah. Else. And then we did get a fan request. Oh. So oh. long story short, Big Checho's artwork of my face became a sticker that I got printed and I carry around, or I don't carry it around, but I have a roll of stickers of my face that <laughs> Checho drew. So Checho, thank you for <laughs> listening. It's a very, it's a fan favorite. Everybody wants one. They, everybody loves them. Um, <laughs> so if a friend of Crackhead Blue, her one of her coworkers, had it on her water bottle. No. And her little grandson was like, "Who's that?" It's like, "Oh, that's my friend. He does a, he's a movie podcast person." And hold on, let me read the text exactly. Oh, so, I love this. So. I told him about the podcast and that you do movie reviews. And he asked if I reviewed Paw Patrol. Oh, oh no. He recognized no. me? No. Uh, she just said that he asked about it. 
Okay. Didn't say that you recognize me. Anyway, sorry, Cracker Blue. Um, and she told him, no, different movies. And then he, I guess when he left, he said, can you do a review on it? So I guess I have to watch Paw Patrol. Okay. And give a, <laughs> do a review of the Paw Patrol movie. What is that out go. on? Is that all? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's in the theaters. <laughs> I know it's going into the theaters. So, uh, so that yeah, we got a little Paw Patrol review oh, request. That's, that's adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could guess who that was. I absolutely you probably could can. guess. You probably can. <laughs> I am not going to say who it is on the podcast, but that's I got I have an idea. That's hilarious. Cool. Yeah. That's cool. Um, so. we'll see if I could put that in my eyes. I'll do it too. That's fine. All right, that'll be cool. Um, so that's so, it. That, now I'm now I'm done. Now I'm done. <laughs> yay! Those are good movies. Well, I mean, I don't think I've watched Thirty Days of Nights, but you're I'm, going to though. I'm <laughs> going to. Oh, gosh. You are. Some some <laughs> sometime soon. Oh dear, it will happen. Yeah, I don't have a scri- subscription to that horror po- horror app, whatever it's called. That's okay. It's we'll on, find it's it. On, we'll it's find on, it for you. It's on Netflix or oh, Prime or something. Oh, it's free dear. right now, actually. It's on one of them, yeah. yeah. But you That's did remind me of some news that I didn't talk about before. Um, Interview with a Vampire is going to be ah. a TV series on Netflix yeah. or Amazon. I'm not sure which one. I like Joe's reaction to that. <laughs> I know. I guess. I hey, you know what? I didn't expect that. Or maybe they're just doing a another a trilogy part of it or something. I just know it's coming. Something something new with interview with a vampire. Something new. So anyway, that news is over. New segment is done. So I started watch I they've released new seasons of a lot of stuff on on uh Netflix, and so one of them is season seven of Flash. So, so oh. I started watching that, um, and then they released season three of Manifest. So, um, started watching that, and I don't know. I could have stopped it too. <laughs> I think, I think it's just like how. I mean, granted, like they 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 these people are supposed to die in five years. And so I guess that just means they have a five-year contract to do shows, episodes. So I don't know. I'm like, maybe I'll finish it. I'm not sure. Watched a film called Jolt. So this has, uh, a, you know, the, it, uh, the actress, uh, mm-hmm. the lead actor is a woman, a lead role. It's awesome. She has impulse control issues. <laughs> um, so much so that like she has built up her ability to fight and hurt people to the point where if, if she gets mad, quick fuse, you know, you're done for. And they I love how they show how she's getting angry. And like her pupils dilate, boom. And then mm. you see this vision of her stabbing somebody in the neck. <laughs> and then oh. it it goes right back to where she is, at, like trying to stop herself from actually doing what she thought. So um, I thought it was really neat. They use, uh, I mean, she uses like electroshock therapy to stop that. Um, and Stanley Tucci is her psychiatrist <laughs> who came up with this this device to keep her from hurting people. And every time she runs into his office, he pulls out a gun <laughs> to stop her from going closer every single time. And then like one of the sessions, he's she wants to talk and he goes, Fine, and he throws handcuffs at her and makes her cuff herself to whatever, so she can't get to him if she gets angry. It's it's pretty good. It's on Netflix. Uh, it's called Jolt, and Jolt is just her not like her killing people. <laughs> um, she pushes this button in this vest that electrocutes her, and it stops her from doing it. So. Pretty huh. cool. Okay. I thought it was neat. She, she's a good fighter and has some really bad um, thoughts <laughs> hurting people. 
So, um, pretty good, pretty good. I was I was really sad about the ending. I was sad how it how it turned out. Um, but only story wise, like it was really good. I did enjoy it. So I I definitely recommend it. Another one I recommend. I saw Pig. I couldn't help it. I had to watch it ah. based on your guys' recommendation. Mm -hmm. And it is as good as you say it is. It it's really amazing. is super good. Um, absolutely recommend it. It. I mean, I don't know what else I could say about it. I hate mushrooms. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I am enjoying this film about mushrooms. What? Um, but yeah, overall, it was still you know really really a, a well done film. Um, you could, yeah, you, it's what everyone says. Everyone says it's great. Yeah, absolutely. It was worth the, I think I paid seven bucks, but at this point I kind of wish I did buy it. <laughs> I should have bought it. Right. Uh, oh, you, you guys did buy it. Yeah. That's how we watched it. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you rented it. No, we bought it because it was, uh, crack and blue was like, it's worth buying. We're buying it right away. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So, super worth it, though. In fact, if you're thinking about it, um, and you like Nick Cage, you'll like this one. I was, Oh, we double-dipped. We paid to rent, then bought it. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, I'm worried that I'm going to do that, too. Bike went hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Crackhead Blue, what are you doing? I think she liked the pig movie. Right, right. I like pigs. I like pigs. And I guess the one thing that bothered me the whole time, there's only one thing. Is oh. he never freaking showered? That's it. That's all I have to say. Like, really? <laughs> the weirdest stuff. I know, you. <laughs> right? I don't know why. <laughs> but it's like you've had so many opportunities to bathe, dude. Why? Because <laughs> he's a mountain. He's not worried about it. Yeah. He's not. He doesn't care. He's for and troubles. I don't blame him. Like I see what happened, and. Yeah. I don't blame him, but it's so weird it to me. Bothered me. Yeah, it bothered me. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it, but yeah, really good. Really good film. Absolutely. Check it yes, out. Yes, Crackhead Blue says Nick Wolf is great in it. I agree. <laughs> Nick Wolf, that is the uh, the guy who is buying <laughs> buyer. from him. Yeah, yeah. the buyer. Yeah. yeah, he was he was pretty good. I thought that his... Um, I, and I don't know if... if I mean, you probably have something different, but I feel like that a lot of his cussing was probably um, non-scripted. Oh, it's Alex Wolf, not Nick Wolf. There's oh, okay. two of them. There oh. are two of them. Oh, okay. But yeah, um, I think his cussing was unscripted and not necessary. Like, I could see it there in some of the things, but then in others, I was like, uh, that doesn't make sense there. I don't know why you would do that. Like... But, I mean, based on his family experience and how he grew up, I'm not going to say more about it in, in the story, but I guess I could see it. I really could see it. So, <laughs> anyhow. I feel like what's that? Uh, Blue said, cussing is such a natural human trait, and I feel like that's true. It is true. Yeah. And... We cuss like we burp. It is. It just comes out. Got it. And, you know. And it offends some people. <laughs> Other people, not and, so much. <laughs> well, see, and I wasn't offended at all. I was just thinking, and I, I, did the I writer know, really write like me that? Burp, you, Probably. You hear me burp and swear all the time. Yeah, I do. I mean, look at all the swearing in uh, The Usual Suspect. That's true. I don't know why that seemed more natural. <laughs> I guess. I guess it didn't seem natural coming from the kid. Mr. Hmm, Wolf. Maybe so. I haven't seen it. I have yeah, no uh, yeah. leg to stand on in this conversation. And in fact, I don't even... I don't think uh, Nick Cage's character cussed at all. Uh, he, hmm. I'm pretty sure he did. I don't remember that. <laughs> I mean, I might have to watch it again to see. So. He usually yeah. did. Oh, actually, I watched a Nick Cage movie. What? Oh? We watched uh, World Trade Center. Oh, wow. Heavy. Yeah, and it... It was yeah. as heavy as the building sitting on Nick Cage, because you know that's how it worked. Fell on him. Yep. <laughs> but it was a it was a interesting 
interesting yeah. movie. So if you're interested in uh, watching that, it's on the Netflix. Excellent. Excellent. I rented uh, yeah. on Amazon. What? Where did you guys rent your uh, pig from? <laughs> Sounds weird. I think, the pig I think farm. Prime's the only place it is. Oh, okay, Amazon. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I was noticing, and then the the um, the musical Annette is is yep. free popped on up. Amazon, so you can uh-huh. just watch it there. Oh. So you can check it out. So check it out. Yeah. I've heard. I've, I've heard it's weird. I've heard it's weird. weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But check it has out. it has Adam Driver in it, so there you go. I would not go against that. <laughs> I'm just saying I've heard it's weird. I don't debate. That the gentleman is in said film. All I'm saying is, from what I've heard, is weird. There you go. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Check it out. All right. Um, let's see. What's uh, what's coming out soon or coming out this week or next week? I guess that's uh. James ask is asks is if uh, I can English. If anyone has, has... anyone seen Reminiscence. There you go. <laughs> Not yet. It is on my queue in on HBO. I think. I have also not. All I saw was the was the little trailer. Yeah, I saw the trailer. And if I see another trailer teaser where somebody says, "Where is she?" aggressive, uh, it's it's too soon. It's too soon. Who's Deanna? Who's? (laughs) What was that from? (laughs) That was uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Abraham. Abraham. Who's Deanna? Who's Deanna? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, yeah. There's a, another Candyman <laughs> film coming out this weekend. Oh, dear. No, I was like, You're going to go see that? You're going to go see that? No, I'm not going to go see that. Why not? Because I don't have the... the Nightmares, remember? I... Oh, you have to tell me about your podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess we could cross promote. Um... Oh. I've been listening to a podcast called Spooked. Oh. Um, it's generally people submitting stories of unexplained things that have happened to them, either in the forest, in the house, uh, oh. on a road trip, well, in a mine, all kinds of weird things. Um, it's kind of in the same vein of, like, if you listen to Lore... Lore has okay. some pretty cool, like, you know, scary stories associated with where we get our folklore from today, yeah. right? Or from yesteryear. Spooked is more like firsthand stories from people who experience these things. And some of them are pretty, like, over the top where you're like, eh, eh, all right. For sure. And then some of them are subtle enough to where you're like, wow, okay. I mean, if that's true, that's pretty gnarly, you know? Like, yeah. I am enjoying it. Um, the presenter is a bit hammy so when he tells his stories it's like i i tried to sit through him and i was warned i was warned um that he's a little bit rough to take uh Mm -hmm. i listened to a few of his stories and then now it's the point where when he starts sharing a story i fast forward through his segments um but you know you might like his 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 take on it but it's called spooked spooked okay so I will put one in my yeah, ears and I check will it on, uh, check it on yeah. out. Yeah, scary. Yeah. Cool. I'm sorry, it's scary. Yeah. DJ. DJ, listen to all of them. Yeah. All right. 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 Oh boy. Now, what you really want to listen to his last podcast on the left about all the serial killers. Yeah. Right. Oh, right. that sounds neat. It's rad. Or the Who Goes There podcast <laughs> in the San Diego. Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, hey, uh, box office numbers uh, are out. And, uh, boy, I'm looking at it. And Free Guy, uh, this week, Free Guy only made $18 $18 million. No surprise there. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's the second week. Um, But it still beat out the movie that came out this week, Paw Patrol. (laughs) So what? No, we're going to, we're going to. That's because we haven't reviewed it yet. Right. Well, yeah. okay, it is only in theaters. It's a 45-day run in the theaters before it comes okay, out. Okay, so we have, to wait. we have to wait to review it yeah. after uh, 45 yeah. days or so. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so, and then number three was Jungle Cruise, 
six nice. million bucks. Cruise. Really? Still? Yeah, still in there. Nice. Yeah. Um, four. Uh, don't bother. Oh no, sorry. Don't breathe. Two. Um, made five million this week, and then uh, respect was that uh, was number five this week, uh, and it made about oh. three million. So almost four. Nice. Yeah. So I want to see yeah. that. So there, there was some money to be made in the theaters, but doesn't look like it was as much as like previous weeks. So. Paw Patrol is streaming yeah. on Paramount Plus right now. Okay, well. Oh, right we can, now I thought it was I forty-five it days. Like I think they're doing the forty-five days with some. James says that he's pretty sure it's streaming on Paramount Plus. Oh, so. rock on! Okay, Guess we can check it out. All right, well then we could check it out. We then. do, Crackhead Blue. We do. Yeah. <laughs> So. Perks of being on a movie podcast. Right? Mm. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that yeah, right so there. So I will I'll make an effort to check Paw Patrol out. <laughs> Me too. I will too. So that'll be fun. I will too. Um future movies. Okay, I got sent on uh, September third, this movie called Afterlife of the Party is coming out. Mm. And it's the pr- Sounds like a ghost movie. It is a movie. ghost movie. Um did you ever see a movie back in the day where this guy um he dies, and then he comes back as a ghost, but he can only see... He can only be seen by his girlfriend. Mm. Um, I don't remember. Was it a Teen Angel? Is that what it was? He can only be seen by so many people. He can't be seen by everybody. I think it was Teen Angel, wasn't it? Beth? I don't know. I That doesn't sound familiar to me. Come on, in, in, Internet Movie Data Bath. What do you do? You think is that what it was? Um, I don't think so. Oh, okay, all right. Um, you might be Teen Angel is a song, but it was also a movie. There was also a movie. A TV series. Maybe okay. That was, there was a TV series, but I think that TV mm-hmm. series was, it's it was a spinoff of a movie. So okay, okay. well either way. So and then there's Ghosts of Girlfriends Past. Mm-hmm. Which was a lot like um, what was it the 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 three the the Christmas Carol where the the each girlfriend right the ghost of yes Christmas yes past and so in already. this case this this girl is partying parties too hard and dies and so now she is a she goes in and she's like only her best friend can see her or or. Something mm. like that, something weird like that, and so she's like helping that person's life get better. Um, so okay. it feels like it so. feels like something like that, except for it's more modern day. I don't know. It looks fun. Okay. It looks hilarious. Just another way to tell that story. Um, yeah. So it was a good trailer. It was a trailer that I saw, and it's in YouTube. I, James sent it to me, which was really good. Looking forward to seeing it. Um, and I think I saw. The let's see, the last man is coming September thirteenth on Hulu. So uh, I think I saw that trailer too, and that looked pretty good. Um, what else? I think that's everything. What do you think? It's called the I'm last sorry, man. I'm really trying to the last man. Yeah, is it based so... on why the the comic book why. Um, I think so. I think you're right. I think that's what it is. So the, okay. there's only one man left in the world. All yeah. the other men die, and then this and there's a bunch of women running around, running everything. And yep. It's called it's called Y the Last Man, and Y refers to the Y chromosome. Y chromosome. Yeah. James, James says uh, DJ describes every age. <laughs> Dies only can be seen by best friend. Yeah, that's about right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, or because isn't there one with like. John Travolta and I see this is I just completely lost the whole past four minutes of conversation because I'm trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about (laughs) my brain is just like clicking and the gears are just like skipping teeth connections and it's just like what the that's like what the hell are you talking about so, but, um, go ahead and talk about whatever you're talking about, because I'm still. Oh, looking. I mean, you don't have to look. I mean, that's just uh, somebody'll. It'll spark somebody's uh, thing, you know, memory or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Olivia Newton-John and uh, John Travolta. They were in that movie, and it was called. I want to say it's just called. That's probably. 
Um, yeah, they were all John Travolta. But they were they were also <laughs> in a in a high school musical sort of a film. Yes, everyone knows <laughs> Grease, but that is not germane to the conversation we're having right now, right, DJ. Right, right. I'm trying to figure out what the hell you were talking about, you I goof. Know, I know. I think it's Teen Angel. I really do. It's not. No. <laughs> okay. No. Right. Maybe it's not. That's had enough. I know. She's I, like, I'm done. I, you, you're killing me here, Smalls. <laughs> hey, why don't we talk about films that uh, Kevin Pollock was in? Okay. okay. I like that. Yeah. Do that. For next week. I think we should do that. Great idea. Yeah. So if you have a film that you liked uh, that Kevin Pollock is in, send us a text or at, at 512 podcast or shout out at tfwmovies.com or send us a message on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at tfwmovies. Yeah. Cool so it's now time to... Uh, Yes, two of a kind. Two of a kind. <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> oh. When God decides to destroy Earth, four angels aim to redeem mankind through the young man and a woman with their own troubles. Yes, that is not the one you're no. talking about, but I knew there was one where the two of them Got were it. Yeah, that's definitely not the one I was talking about. Yeah, the one you're talking about, though, is not called Teen Angel. Oh, okay. So maybe, step off. Maybe it's... It's Teen mm, Angel, I think. Middle, but, middle-aged but, angel. It's not <laughs> Teen Angel. <laughs> middle-aged. <laughs> Maybe maybe it's uh you know, pre-teen hey, angel. Yeah, yes. maybe maybe. Uh, oh well. Late teens Late angel. Late teens. Late. Young adult Young angel. Ad- That's it. <laughs> That's it. High school angel. Um, there it is. <laughs> time to plug something, everybody. It's that time of the show um, where I'm going to plug Checho's standard tattoo parlor. Um, he is, he's great at art. He's, he's done so much art. You can see it on television. Yeah. Yep. You could see it on a there you podcast. Go. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Has a, some of his art hanging around making goofy faces. Um, and so, yeah. So if you want a tattoo and you're going to be in the San Diego area, I would, uh, make an appointment with, uh, Mr. Checho, Big Checho in his Standard Tattoo Parlor. See his work on Instagram at the Standard Tattoo Parlor. And uh, he does everything artistic. Like, he, he'll he do a painting. He will do... Um, he'll get you a shirt. He, I mean, pretty much anything. Like, he does. He's such an artist. He's that kind. Um, I don't know if he sings. That's another art that I don't think he does. I'm not sure. <laughs> ah. Now I have to ask. Does he sing? So anyway, uh, I wrote a book called The Nerda in Law, N E R D A in Law. It's still on Amazon, and it's still on the uh, wh- what is it? The Kindle Unlimited. So if you have that and subscribe to that, you could just read the book. Ta-da. Um, what else? Oh, speaking of singing, Joey Flair, the gal you hear at the beginning of our show, she has an album. It's at uh, Joey Flair, J O I E F L A R E dot bandcamp dot com. So ah. check out her album there. And I think she's working on another one too. So, um, what else? Joe, do you have something you want to plug? Yeah, as usual, I will plug the old Twitch channel. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash apostle underscore OFC. Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we have mo- moved official stream time from 6.30 to 7, so it gives you a little bit more time to catch me, uh, and we're going to limit stream times to about three hours instead of how I was trying to do four, just to keep it, you know, a little more manageable for everybody, and myself included. Um, and then you yeah. got to go to work at three, get up to go to work at 3.30 in the yeah, morning. Yeah, that's, that's kind of been a thing for a little while, so we'll figure it out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can find me starting tomorrow if you hear this on tuesday yeah there you go so there you go cool beth did you want to plug something i would absolutely like to uh thank all the firefighters that are working super super hard trying to close down this caldera fire because it's a it's it's a doozy it's (laughs) headed up to south lake tahoe it is it's uh kind of rolling up one side of 50 towards Tahoe and Yikes. rolling out towards Amador County and 
it could, you know, if we get another red flag warning, which we have twice in the past week uh, to for strong winds, we it could head towards Placerville. Yeah. So um, it's sort of just a wait and see kind of game. So thank you very much, firefighters, for being the awesome guys who run in where everybody else runs away. And um, I appreciate you. And thanks again. Also, uh, you know, text for class. <laughs> <laughs> My girl Courtney and the puppies. Yes. Uh, Courtney's evacuated. Oh my gosh. So oh, wow. uh, yeah, we're just everybody. Everybody's knows somebody or is currently evacuated. Wow. So. Yeah, just uh, pray for Puffy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, congratulations, everybody! You made it Yay. through the show uh, to the point where we thank everybody. So thanks for doing that. Show is called "Thanks for Watching," but I bet you knew that. As always, we thank the Patreon members first. Lucas, Abby, Tyler, Teacher J.M. Strauss, Sean, Blue, of course, and Wendy and James. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank Big Checho because he's the, the art boss. And apparently, uh, we'll see if he has a lovely singing voice. That's right. Point. Um, <laughs> Joy Flair, who does have a lovely voice. Thank you so much. Uh, the cast, that's DJ yeah. over there. That's okay. Joe over Hello. there. I'm thank Beth you. Right Welcome here. back. Thanks so much. Oh, thanks. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, we would like to thank the lovely ladies on the uh, the the backstage part of our our show here, who keep us sane. That is the lovely Miss Blue, the wonderful Dorothy, and the fantastic Penny. All of our ladies, thanks, guys. You are the best. But most of all, we would like to thank you, the listener, because if you weren't listening, well, it'd basically just be us three talking about yeah. movies. <laughs> Which I mean, we we kind of do anyway. Yes. So um, I'm glad you I'm glad you came to listen though, because thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so wash your hands and uh, wear your mask. That Delta variant's kind of a bitch too. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Let's see. Um, brush your teeth. Wear deodorant. Look both ways before That's... crossing Look the street. Look both ways before crossing the yep. street. That is a That's very a a valid. One. Yeah, good one. A big one. Um. Definitely remember that only you and Smokey the Bear can prevent forest fires. Oh! Do you know what I watched? I watched Bill and Ted Face the Music! Oh, yay! <laughs> I'll talk about it next week. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, be excellent to each other. Yeah, it's it's definitely a DJ horror movie. We should just move on from this before I say something really bad. What the French toes?